Lin Chan and Dimi Chan play games. Hello and welcome back, Chan Chans. Today we miss we meet the director, Miss Pura. As the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab director, Miss Pura is the world's foremost authority on ancient Hyrule culture. Pura. And she's like, check it. We. She's going. I love you. Oh yeah. Check it. That's the that's the sign language for I love I love you. Yep. I have utmost respect for Miss Pura, and she's and all she's accomplished. I'm honored to be her assistant. On that note, Link, you see the director may look like a young girl, but well, maybe it's not the right place to be telling you these things. You should talk to Miss Pura herself. She's an old lady with many many experience. She's so cute. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Hey hey, are you surprised? The director of this laboratory is not Simon, it's me! I tricked you, ha ha, snappy snap. <laughs> snappy snap. You're so cute. Anyway, Linky, do you remember any dreams from your time in the slumber of restoration? You don't look like you've changed a bit in the last hundred years, but something must have happened on all that time. Well, no matter. I'm just happy you're still in one piece. Linky, what's that look? You do remember me, right? I don't remember. Really? Well, I'm so shocked. I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from this. Even though a hundred years ago, I took you to the Shrine of Resurrection after Calamity Ganon fatally wounded you. Oh. There was a big sword right through your tum tum. Oh, so she took him to the place to to put him in the water thing to yeah, sleep yeah. for a hundred years? Yeah, even though I was the one who put you safely into the slumber of restoration. Despite all that, you still don't remember me at all. So then it's her fault remember. that he slept for a hundred years. Yeah, it's a good thing. He was he was dead. He was a goner. So oh, he's they saved dead. Link's life. And he was near dead. But maybe a year is enough. Hmm, as expected. After a hundred years in the slumber of restoration, subject has lost all memories. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry uh, i have a bad habit of taking notes rather abruptly like that it's a charming quirk isn't it snappy snap anywho do you have any <laughs> questions for me snappy Aren't snap you a child how very rude hmm or perhaps it's not rude at all i suppose that's actually a rather logical conclusion to jump to the truth is i look this way because of a failed experiment well i say failed but in some ways it was a success i documented the full fare in my dairy upstairs don't you go reading it uh, but the whole thing is embarrassing, so I insist you refrain from reading it. Oh, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, enough about that. Back to the topic of hand. Here you are after 100 years, here to defeat Calamity Ganon, who is growing in strength with every passing moment, but take your time, uh, <laughs> and to rescue our beloved Princess Zelda. That is, if you got the courage to try, and to help the one true hero, I, the one and only Pura, will restore the basic functions missing from the Sheikah Slate. And what do you say about that? Yes, please. I knew you'd say that. All right, then. First, I need you to run an errand for me. What's that look on your face? You didn't think I'd fix your Sheikah Slave free, did you? I did. Hmm. Post slumber of restoration, subject is plagued by presumptuous tendencies. Noted. <laughs> they, they are like in an ancient world of magic and whatever, and yet she's using a fountain pen. She's, uh... She's up to speed with the technology. <laughs> Let me explain what this errand entails. You know that unlit furnace on the wall just outside the factory? Uh, the, the building or whatever? Could you please bring the blue flame from that ancient furnace in town? Oh, and use it to light our furnace? This sweet little guidance, guidance stone will start working once you do that, allowing us to restore your missing runes. Oh, that one in the back there? They need to restore that. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, I wonder if young women these days still say things like sweet and little. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't really matter anyways. Okay then, I'm counting you to do that. get that blue flame. Thanks. Okay, she snappy talks, snap. She talks too much. Snappy snap. Snappy snap. <gasps> Ooh, pretty. Ooh, sun rising. Nice. Sunset? No, sunrise. Yeah. 3 a.m. It's still nighttime. 3 a.m. What kind of world is he in that the sun is setting at 3 a.m.? Well, it's it's still nighttime. Or is the sun starting to rise? The sun is rising. The sun's rising at 3 a.m. Yeah, look, you see? There's like all the, the lens morning? flare and everything. <laughs> yeah, 3 a.m. 4 a.m. in the morning. Sun doesn't usually rise until like 6.30. So this is her room. And this is her diary. Research diary for anti-aging rune. Classified for her Peraz eyes only. First page. Date. 
work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. Is if- this important? Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's okay. part of the story. Oh, I'm getting bored. <laughs> but it's, it's telling you the backstory of why she's the kid. If all goes according to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. Aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors young again, thereby strengthening the Hyrulean army. When Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, they'll be ready. Our offense will be solid. Our defense impenetrable. The need for this tech pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain everlasting peace for all. Stop reading. Date. The beta version of my anti-aging rune is complete. I have already added it to the Sheikah slate I made for myself. Since I am the, the test subject of this experiment, Simon booted up the rune and directed its rays at my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Unable to stay awake, I went into bed immediately. Tomorrow, I'll try to figure out what went awry. You're stop reading. Anti-aging experimental <laughs> trial day two. My extreme full body fatigue has slightly improved, for which I am grateful. Still, I do not recognize the face in my mirror. My hair is thick again in floor length. My wrinkles, once deepest trenches, have vanished without a trace. It seems the anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. Oh. This morning, I kicked Simon awake and had him run a full physical exam on me. My weight, height, vision, bone density, heart, blood. We tested everything we could, pushing our facility to its limit. Our discoveries were startling. My results were typical of a Sheikah woman in her early 50s. In other words, I had reversed my age by more than 70 years in a single night. Damn, so she was 120 at first, and now she's 50. I can only hope to not awaken to find to have a body of a newborn baby. Oh, so every day she wakes up, she's she gets younger and younger. And younger. And younger. Anti-aging experimental oh, trial day weird. three. I woke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked my mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. According to Simon's examination, I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 30s, 30 years old. I was around that age when my first, when I was first able to continue my research following the Great Calamity. The first thing I did was try to figure out how to expand the functionally, functionality of the Sheikah Center. I was around 80 years old when that expansion was complete. I intend to bequeath this tech to our sleeping hero. I hope the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of the calamity that swallowed our princess Zelda whole. <gasps> Is and- that a hint? Does that mean Zelda got eaten up inside yeah. calamity? Mm-hmm. Ooh, he ate her? Anti-aging experimental trial day four. After today's routine physical, the results show that I have the body of a Sheikah woman in her 20s. I haven't felt this good in a century. This is all take me back to when the great calamity happened ganon had been dormant for ten thousand years perhaps its power had been building all this time the slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless the destruction complete we lost everything hyrule castle princess zelda well perhaps not everything was lost a youth named linked was brought to me a hundred years ago covered in wounds and on death's doorstep link so young yet so courageous he was the youngest knight to have ever been appointed to the Imperial Guard of the Hyrule Castle. He was also gifted, a gifted swordsman who was selected as captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and us Sheikah researchers have had a strong bond. Their pain is our own. We thought the swordsman in the Sheikah slate Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the slumber of resurrection had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. It was the best that we could do. Day 5. I woke to something horrifying, a scarlet lump scarring my otherwise useful face. After analyzing this monstrosity, I have come to the conclusion that it is just a pimple. (laughs) A very big one. She's going back to her teenage years of having pimples and going through puberty. Yep. Oh, the results of today's physical exam indicate that my body and mind have reverted to those of a teenager. Uh, I feel like Simon looks at me differently, which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted on running my blood test for me. I mean, really, what even? I can do it all by myself. Jeez. Snappity snap. <laughs> in any case, I wonder what experiment I should focus on next. The blue flame in the firmness outside is glowing weaker by the day. I do hope the guidance stone won't stop, doesn't stop working. Day six, my age reversal has progressed progressive further still. 
I now look and feel like a six-year-old. Oh, shit. My height has regressed so much that I can no longer reach things in high places. It's super annoying. Where is that genius swordsman we place in the slumber of resurrection anyways? Wake up already. Jeez. If he doesn't wake up soon, my my feature expansions for the Sheikah my feature expansions for the Sheikah sensor will go to waste. But even if he does manage to wake up, how can I be so sure he'd find me here? I want to go and just kick Linky awake, but I doubt Simon would let me. It'd be hard with my six-year-old body, anyways. Instead, I think I'll begin working on a rune to unreverse my aging process. Day seven. This morning's exams results indicate that I'm still age six, same as yesterday. Perhaps my age reversal has stopped. As luck would have it, today is also, uh, I also finished developing the beta version of my age boosting rune. <laughs> if successful, this should be able to reverse the effects of the anti-aging rune. I hope it will anyways. All I need to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature to the Sheikah slide I made, I found out the guidance zone had stopped. What's more, the blue flame in the furnace outside had gone out. I sent Simon to the ancient furnace, but he was too clumsy, and it was raining and nothing went to plan. So I had to go down there to help, but a girl in the village saw me. What a mess I've made. Not only am I unable to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of gas lamps. What to do? Stop reading. Stop reading. <laughs> so. So, so I, I guess I missed it. What did uh, the age, anti-agent thing have to do with the, the Sheikah slate? In oh, the so, stone. so she has a Sheikah slate. Yeah. Uh, and she uh, was basically learning our, not, is this a chest? No. Uh, she was basically doing research on it to try to like improve it in ways and make an anti-aging process. So that way they can make like soldiers brand new and young again. But that has home. nothing to do with the Sheikah slate. Um, that Link has? Uh, machine that like, right? What do you mean? What does it have to do with the Sheikah slate? So she has a Sheikah slate. And yeah, in order is... to put information on it, she needs that stone to like have the blue liquid. Why does she want to put information on it? To the new version of her anti-aging thing. Or her age boosting thing. But what does it have to do with the Sheikah plate? You're saying that if she finds a method, she can put that process onto the Sheikah plate and okay. the slate and everybody will know? No, so sh you put a Sheikah slate here, blue liquid comes from that thing, yeah. and it adds information to the Sheikah yeah. slate. Okay. She was doing experiments, which means that she needed to like put stuff in the Sheikah slate to be able to do those experiments. Right? Well, I put the water drop in the Sheikah yeah. slate? Why? Why? So that way she can add features to it. And what does the anti-aging thing have to do with the Sheikah slate? Well, it was gonna be an so just like, just like so I have all these. She, she, she wanted saying, an anti-aging one. You're saying that she created a potion that she can drop onto the Sheikah slate, and yeah, then and whoever then the owns the Sheikah slate can zap someone else and make them younger again. That's so weird. It's a machine. You can't just drop a water droplet on it. Anyway. Anyway, that's how it works. I don't know why it's so confusing. <laughs> it sounds confusing because I didn't. Oh, all those animals just <laughs> pop out of nowhere. They're they're being born. That's how <laughs> animals are born. This is so weird. Hello, is sheepy. this three D animation? Yeah. Everything here is three D. Uh huh. You can change perspective. Look and go. Anyway. Anyway, so. Till next time. Till next time, already. <laughs> like, you really want dinner, don't you? Well, in any case, to remind us for next time, uh, this is the blue flame that we need to bring all the way up there. Yeah, Oh, well, it's up not there. that hard. No, so you just grab a torch and take it with you. But if it blows out? Well, that's why you put it in these little lanterns. These are the lanterns I was telling you that I like. So you're going to carry cool. that giant lantern? No, you get a, you get a torch, yeah. like one of these. You light, you light the club on fire. Yeah. And then you... I'll show you. Club on fire. Flyer. Flyer. Just pass off flyers. Then you put it in there, and then that's on to the next one. And What's on to the next one? There's another another lantern over there. So you just light all the lantern, and that's all you really need to do? Yeah. I thought you needed to bring the fire back to her. Yeah, but you, like, that's on your way. So, like, as oh, I'm so making my like way, your, I'm getting closer. Your stop area. Yeah, so, for example, there's a... There's a there's a, a stream here, so I need to throw my lantern. 
and then pick it, and then there we go. And then on to the next one. Where's the next one? I don't know. Oh, I think I need to actually go up there. Well, in any case, we'll do that next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye. What's this? A broadsword. A rusty sword. Um, Dimmy Chan, Lin Chan, Dimmy Chan, Lin Chan, Dimmy Chan.